Hi all folks, uh, Ian Vaughan here from Tata Community School. Just want to do a quick video for you as parents on VSWare um, and explain how this is going to work for the school and for you as parents setting it up. So the first thing there I'm going to direct you here to is the school website and their homepage is VSWare for parents. All the information on what we're doing and the letter going home to yourself will all be on this page and the video recordings of any tutorials to do will be on this page. So that's the school website, VSWare for parents. Okay, so the second thing here is this page here, and um, what we want parents to do is to download the VSWare app. So go to your app store, type in VSWare, and then type in Tala Community School. You can also access from your desktop or from your laptop at home, Mac or um, Windows, so it doesn't make a difference. But we want parents to download the app because you'll get the push notifications, and therefore it'd be easier to see exactly uh, what's going on in school. The main idea behind this to streamline the communication between yourselves and yourselves into one centralized location so not necessarily getting text and all that sort of stuff and emails uh, and notifications via the website what we want is everything comes through vsware so i'm going to show you how to set that up so the first thing you're going to do is i'm going to text you out your username so everybody who is set up in the school who receives text message will receive the username you type your username in there and they type the last four digits of the person who received the text in there and you'll get your code you put that in and then you create your password um and your setup for uh, your account so i'm going to just pause it there and that'll be how you set it up there now w once you go to get once you've set up that with your code and you've set up you'll go back to the login page and they'll ask you to log in so i'm going to show you the one that i have set up as a test student so test one two three and i'll put in the password which you create yourself and i'm going to show you what your student profile looks like so I've set up this. This is your parent dashboard. These are your contact details here. If these are inaccurate, you can change them here yourself. But you And if you have multiple children, the children associated with your phone number and your account will come in here. So I'm going to click on James Test. This is the student that I've picked here just to show us. So here, the main things that VSware is going to show us is your son or daughter's day-to-day -day attendance. The school report to be going home through assessment. We're not going to be using behavior at the moment, so that's not there. You can see the timetable your son or daughter is associated with. Uh, the day-to-day, -day, the weekly one, exactly where they're meant to be at each time during the day. The personal information, that's just any additional information your child has where they send medical records. Um, some fees, that doesn't really apply to us or ourselves at the moment, but the student options will apply for various year groups. So the moment I want to really show you here is the attendance. So if you click learn more here, and for this James Test student here, I've just picked the four days in September just to show you exactly what it looks like. It'll give you a month by month overview and breakdown of where they are partial, uh, full, present for the full day and absent. So present for a full day, i.e. are seven periods, our tutorial and six class periods is green, absent is fully red for the day and partial is orange. So you'll see the tendency get there, you can get more details on September and again each day that there's uh, some partial attendance or full attendance, you can scroll down and filter. So. The idea why behind this here is just to show you as parents exactly why it is there. The other main reason what we want parents to do here is to be able to submit uh, absence requests uh, for days and reasons why they're not there. I've done a sample one here. I've submitted an attendance uh, record to say why James was out for that day. And myself, uh, Mr. Lynch, and Ms. McCarthy, and Ms. Green, or the year has can check to see that. So if I wanted to submit an absence, you click Submit Absence. Past or future, say if you're going, uh, especially with COVID or, or whether it is regarding a dental appointment or medical appointment or a reason that you can't make it to school that day, you can submit a note for that. I'll just show you from past absence. So click past, next. He was out on the, this day. The reason why he was ill, so medical assert, uh, and then click submit. That then goes to the school and we'll approve that. Okay, it just gives you another way of being able to check up the day to day for your attendance. So the, the main things you're going to be looking at on the chi on your child's your children's profile here is the attendance, the assessments, the reports here. You'll be able to see the term reports, your Christmas. Uh, I haven't loaded them yet for this because the sample one will be Christmas, your progress, your summer ones, they'll all be here. The CBAs they're receiving, um, their timetable, their day-to-day -day timetable, what it looks like. So again, it's not full here because it's a sample one, but all this information here is this is, is on this page here and we hope to improve the communication as well there's also another aspect called vs mail which i will go to in further detail but that's basically instead of me emailing you from 
my own em.born at Talis ES email account I'll be emailing you from the Talis ES VSware account uh, and you'll be able to jump it's communication in one centralised location which we hope then will will uh, improve everything uh, we have communication with parents and students in the school so this video is just basically on showing you your attendance how to log in and set it up the rationale behind it uh, do get in contact with school if there's any issues there and I'll be putting more videos up just in depth ones particularly on each subcategory on the home page on that VSware page on the school website uh, but thank you very much for watching and if there's any questions do get in contact with school thank you